Mobile Trans is a desktop application that helps more than 50 million users to transfer data from one phone to another, transfer WhatsApp and other social apps, and restore data from cloud backups. Move everything with one click and save your time. Mobile Trans is the best desktop software to transfer contacts between iPhone and Android, as well as other types of data, including photos, apps, songs, messages, videos, and more. Transferring WhatsApp to a new phone now only needs a single click with Mobile Trans. Whether you're switching to an iPhone or an Android, it helps you keep your chat history safe by backing up your WhatsApp data to a computer. Join the event Time Traveler Day and get a chance of winning an iPhone 12 Pro. Don't miss end of the year sales as well. You'll find more details and links in the description. Mobile Trends is an unbeatable product for the management of smartphones, particularly for the people who are regularly upgrading or switching their smartphones to different operating systems to transfer the contents. Get your Mobile Trends today. Links for this amazing software are provided in the description. Hello guys! Today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to fix Intel UHD graphics, on Coffee Lake and Comet Lake desktops. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates. So guys let's start. As you can see the graphics isn't working, mouse cursor is lagging, dock isn't transparent and in about this Mac, the graphics is being detected as 7 megabytes only. I'm using Mac OS Big Sur version 11.1 beta before fixing the graphics dvmt pre-allocation must be set to 64 megabytes and also lilu and whatever green kext should be in kext folder of efi and entries for both must be created in config.plist coming to the fix you'll require open core configurator for mounting the efi partition and for editing config.plist and also readme file which contains the required patches. Now, open Open Core Configurator and mount the EFI partition of your system drive. Quit Open Core Configurator. Now, open the config.plist. Open the README file. Now go to ACPI tab and then unpatch, and here add all the ACPI renames. You can add it manually, or just select from drop down list. After adding the renames, make sure to enable all the renames, and also, make sure that the renames are in correct orders. After adding the renames, go to device properties tab, and here, you have to enter the PCI device address of display controller. You can add it manually, or can also select from the drop-down list. After selecting the controller, remove pre-made keys, and then enter all the keys from README file. Coffee Lake and Comet Lake CPU has black screen issue, when using HDMI to drive the display. To prevent that, bus ID patching is required. Here, all the patches are listed.
After entering all the keys, close README file. Now go to NVRAM tab, and add a boot arg. This arg should be used when using high resolution display, above 1080p. Also make sure to choose the correct SM BIOS. For Coffee Lake CPU, use iMac 19.1 or 19.2. For Comet Lake CPU, use iMac 21 or 22. Now save the config.plist file, then close all the folders, and eject the EFI partition, and then restart your PC. When restarting your PC, reset NVRAM at least once. And now, you can see there's no lag in mouse cursor, dock is also transparent, and also in about this Mac, the graphics is being detected as 1536 megabytes. Also keep in mind that, refresh rate will be not above than 60 Hz, regardless the refresh rate of your monitor. Finally we have full graphics acceleration on Comet Lake PC, with Intel UHD 630. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and for more updates stay connected and have a great day.